talk to you about what's the deal with co-working slash body doubling, whatever. All right. So let's talk about what are the benefits? Why on earth would somebody do this when they could just do it on their own? Well, I mean, that's it. You've solved it, Brittany. Congratulations. We can, we can oh, leave thanks. Oh, okay, good. That was easy. Well, item one is the buddy system. Uh, often for folks with ADHD, social motivation is, is very key and can be very powerful for us. So having a buddy uh, and, and the beauty of body doubling and co-working is that you have two people who otherwise would be sitting alone in their own spaces are together and benefiting each other uh, with whatever it is that they're trying to get done. And side note, um, body doubling and co-working is not just for oh, I have to do my taxes or, oh, I need to respond to this email. It can be, I don't make time for myself. I don't make time for the things that I love. So I'm going to schedule time to play Minecraft, to crochet, to, to write my personal stuff because I don't prioritize that. So it's a scheduled specific time for that. Yeah, it, it definitely can be. I mean, there've been some, some systems that have come out that help with it. I wanted to mention one of the other benefits specifically to folks with ADHD. So a lot of us have um, what we call rejection sensitivity. It's a whole other video about that. But one of the things that that can look like is we can have tasks that, that actually kind of feel like they're yelling at us. Either they're, they're triggering the inner critic. Either they're telling us we're so bad because it's so easy. Why didn't you already register your car? Um, or... <laughs> Or it's saying, it might be saying like, you're not going to do well at this. And so it, it kicks in the perfectionist vibe and it makes it harder to start. And the nice thing about doing something with a buddy is all of a sudden there's another person. So it's harder to hear that, that voice say, you're not going to do this very well, or you're so bad. You didn't, you should have already done it. And sometimes just having somebody to look at something we're dreading can be really helpful. Um, yep. <laughs> and, and then there's the accountability part. Like I'm less likely to goof off on my phone if someone is watching. And when you're working from home, there's nobody watching. Yeah. Uh, we, we've heard one of the guild members say that they use their phone as the camera because then if they, if they use their phone, then the camera goes off and everybody knows that, you know, you're checking Pokemon Go or Twitter or something. And, and with this person, Pokemon Go is a realistic guess. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Yep. Can't confirm. <laughs> um, uh, sometimes people like just publicly stating what you're about to work on either in text, because we have some folks who do their co-working over text or, or in the channel, like, Hey, I'm going to do this. Yeah. It's like, we've committed out loud to doing it. And it's like, okay, yep. I'm going to do this instead of back and forth and back and forth. What am I going to start? Mm -hmm. And, and sometimes people waste so much time just deciding what to even work on mm -hmm. that they can't really get started and actually do it. Mm -hmm. So it, it kind of forces us to like declare those intentions in a way mm -hmm. that sometimes we don't do for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also in doing, in, in so doing, you create specificity out of chaos and you, you, you can narrow it up because it's, it's much, much harder to say, oh yes, I'm here in co-working to do the taxes. It's, it can be easier to say, ah, yes, I'm going to look at this list that my CPA sent me and start at the top. The first item is open that box from 2019 to find this document. Okay. Do the taxes, big, vague, unspecific, open that box, look for this document specific. Mm -hmm. And then saying that aloud to other people can help specify. Um, my voice in one of our guild members heads, like there's different things that like, oh, I hear Brittany say that. I hear that in Brittany's voice is what does that look like? <laughs> can yep. you describe what that, what that would actually look like and paint a picture for me? I have that uh, voice in my head. Yep. It's yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you had said this, which I thought was beautiful, which is vague is often the enemy of action. Yes. Not having made those decisions about this is what it looks like. This is how I'm starting. Yes. It can really get in the way. Whereas if you're there with other people, like I'm going to do taxes and I'm going to start with this part. Yes. And also it's sort of like, and we're going to talk about community in a minute, but the, the culture 
of hearing other people say, ah, yes, this big vague thing comes down to this narrow thing that I'm going to start on and, and hearing that and having that be okay, that because there are other people and occasionally there are times when clean is the, yeah, I'm not going to say, oh yes, this exact sock that has red with blue stripes, um, I'm going to pick up, but more often than not, it can be, especially with daunting tasks that the vague is often the enemy of action. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, and just like pain less pain shared is pain lessened. Like this mm -hmm. is, this is so, some of the tasks with ADHD are so hard. They are actually painful to face. Yes. It's actual, if you're going to measure activity, it's going to show up in the same areas that you show up with physical pain. Yep. And when you have other people there, it's not as intense. Mm -hmm. and, and it is lessened and it helps us face more of those things and use, use less um, motiv individual motivational energy to do it. Mm -hmm. And so we have mm -hmm. more at the end of the day. Yes, because we're all being swept away in this tide of doing. Yeah. And so there's way less, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> and then when it becomes a habit, then you're already in there to do your things. Yep. What are some of the different options? I, I you sold me. I'm gonna do some co-working. Like, what are the different ways it could look like? Okay, well, let me talk about one of the maybe maybe lesser known ways first, because it's like uh, there's there's one guild member and myself who I refer to as the monarchs of the text chat co-working. For me, it's mostly a lifestyle thing because I don't want you know the toddler in the background. Where's the camera and my you know? So and for for them, it, it's just a, it's just a style thing and. Um, Essentially, because uh, within the Discord, we have uh, a, a text channel about co-working and we have a, uh, a, uh, a video and audio one. So you can join in and be in the chat. Um, different kinds. This other monarch and myself uh, choose often to be only in the text chatting, like, like messaging thread. And we will declare what it is that we're uh, again like written down. Uh, this is this is automatic with that. You don't have to say it out loud. You're, you're writing it down, and then updating on what it is. I love posting pictures. Uh, I love I love especially if I can get myself to remember to take a before picture, not just an after picture, and say okay, this is what it looks like now. I'm gonna do whatever, and then here's what it looks like after. Um, and then updating and then breaking it down as far as it can be and then going, oh, well, hang on a sec. That one's too big or, oh, actually I ran out of time. I can't do that one. I'll do it another day, but I got all these things done. Hey, awesome. And, um, people often will cheer us on and say, hey, great. Good job, uh, on that gifts and emojis and stuff, which is fantastic. So that is the text chat version option. So most of the time on video, people will like, there's sort of like just the impulsive, like there's scheduled and then there's impulsive. Impulsive is just the channel's open all the time. You can go in there anytime you want. Um, and most folks, when they get in there uh, and there's another person, sometimes they'll declare out loud to each other what they're going to work on. By the way, it is always okay to have your first task be figure out what my tasks are. Like that's mm -hmm. always allowed. Because <laughs> that requires motivational energy as well. Yeah. And some folks like to check in again in a little while. Um, and, and some people don't because like, well, I'll already be working, um, but I'll, I'll keep an eye for your message or something like that. Um, most folks, once they start working, mute themselves um, and then just turn on their microphone to, to check in or ask somebody a question. Um, and if they're not, it's always okay to like give them a little poke like, oh, I, you may not have realized your mic's on. And yep. they probably go, oh, oops, sorry. ADHD, right? <laughs> <laughs> and and so like a lot of people do video on mute sometimes people aren't on camera and they're just on there and can unmute like when somebody talks to them um and yeah like sometimes people are just like I'm done procrastinating I'm sick of this I don't know what I'm gonna do yet but I'm gonna get on there yep and and that's a good way I sometimes I'll do that where I'm like yeah I've been trying to do this thing on my own for like 30 minutes have not started it. Okay. It's time. Mm -hmm. And, <laughs> um, and then there's also scheduled co-working. So this is like, I need to do a thing. 
I will never choose to start it right now. I will mm-hmm. always do something else. We have mm-hmm. one guild member right now that's been scheduling gross tasks. So mm-hmm. she doesn't need to feel bad about that email or that whatever it feels like the gross task the whole rest of the week. Cause she knows when it's going to happen. It's going to happen on the gross task time. And other um, people know too. And that is again, that social yeah. motivation. Also in terms of the audio video uh, channel, when I am in there, I pretty much go on and I immediately turn myself on mute and deafen. So I can't hear anybody talking because I find that really distracting. I'm there, I'm present. I, I'm streaming my, my face as I do my work, but I can't hear and I, nobody can hear me, which I find very useful. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you want to chat. Obviously. Exactly. Yeah. To be yeah. like at Colleen. Hello. Thank you. But I'm like, okay, hi. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. yeah, I find the Discord is super flexible in terms of individual need of yeah. of of as long as you can understand the uh, the features, you that they're they're very good for that. Yeah, they customizable. I think is a good word yes. for it. Yes. Um, some of the one of the things that I will schedule sometimes I go in and out of phases of scheduling is is yoga because it's a good yes. idea. And it always feels like that work I got to do is way more pressing. Or the other thing I feel like doing is more pressing. It's a thing that's for me, but doesn't feel like it's for me. Mm-hmm. And so that's been one that I have been way better at doing yoga <laughs> when I have it oh, scheduled yeah. in co-working than any other time. Yep. And, and so that's one of the ones that I've done just because it's so hard to, yep. to just sit down and do it on my own. Yep. And again, you don't do yoga for two hours. You don't have to schedule uh, any of this for for like a bajillion years. I have done that before also with the yoga um, where it's just 15 minutes. That's it. Yep. Yep. And I don't even do it the whole time. It's just this anchor in time. That's it. Yeah. I'm going to take a pause. I have some accountability for it because I sure would Mm -hmm. be embarrassed if I had a bunch of calendar things in there didn't show up. And so I'll do it. But otherwise, I know me. I probably mm-hmm. won't. I've met me before. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So there are multiple places that people can do co-working or body doubling. Um, what's the difference on our ADHD guild house server? We are cozy. There's not, and, and this can, we're not disparaging the other, no. the other things, but if what you need is somebody to know, oh yeah, last week that person was struggling with email and that feeds you and that supports you, that's what we're all about. And you know, um, there, there's one guild member who absolutely struggles with dishes and that's kind of like the main thing that happens in co-working. And so everybody's like, oh yeah, here we are again with the dishes and and that understanding and that compassion and then that that safe space for that. I. I have not been told, but I would guess is, is an aspect of that support for that person because they're just knowing that that's going to be understood uh, uh, once again. That's an aspect of the community that we're, that, we're, that we're building. And some people would prefer for their co-working to be with somebody anonymous because they might feel more judged with people they know, even though mm-hmm. our people are pretty non-judgmental. They're like, you know, people are people. Mm-hmm. Um, and if that's the case, then yeah, one of those anonymous places is is a better option for you. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, there is a difference between like, hey, I'm gonna get on with a stranger um, to uh, tackle this task that I've been avoiding for six months or more. Mm-hmm. Um, a stranger doesn't care, but like, if I tell my pal Kelly, hey, who will not be mind being name checked at all, <laughs> if I tell my pal Kelly, hey, I got to do this thing I've been avoiding for six months. Like, I know Kelly's going to cheer me on and it's going to be completely behind me. And so that's, that's one of those advantages. And, you know, obviously the more you open up and the more you support other people, the more that comes back at you again, Mm -hmm. right? Like that's Mm -hmm. how humans work. Mm -hmm. Um, But, but it is, it is a different level of support when it's actually a community. These are actually Mm -hmm. people that you've interacted with before. The first time you won't know them, right? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Like. But, but when there are people that you have interacted with before, oh, right, you were applying for that job. Did you hear back from it? Mm-hmm. And that, that can change things a lot. Like the person to celebrate with you, but also sometimes the person to cry with you. Yes. Yes, most definitely. And uh, in, in that same, one of my favorite um, 
examples of of that in 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 the guild was something that I was a participant in um, because in a in a journeyman meeting uh, somebody mentioned uh, a specific task which was childproofing and I was like oh I can do some of that too so not only did we have it scheduled we decided it ahead of time we were doing exactly the same thing at the same time it just happened to be and I am sure we both got way more done that day then we would have, even if we'd done it separately, even if we'd gotten it up to do it separately, doing it together, having it the same and being like, oh yeah, and I had this problem and this whatever. And and that was, that was, that was truly magic. And even if it's not inside the same meeting, like it is really kind of fun to be doing something similar at the same yes. time as somebody else. Um, and it's not usually what happens, but like it's yes. fun when it does. But even just like, oh, I am going through a similar thing in my life too right now. Mm. And and so now you can team up. Like we had yeah. folks who all wanted, like a, a few folks who wanted to start posting their daily tasks regularly. So it was like, yeah, let's gather for this. At one point we had a supplement team that were all, like reminding each other to do supplements, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Those, those are one of the cool things to see. It's not the only option out there. Like, you know, if you want to find a different one or you're looking for something anonymous, those are, those serve that function. Um, but I know that the folks who have been drawn to the ADHD guild appreciate the community aspect and that it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's my pal I saw before. Thanks for joining us. Um, we're obviously huge proponents of co-working. <laughs> Hopefully you can try it out and discover it for yourself and we'll talk to you next time.